Welcome to episode number 47. My name is Nathan Ziegler, the Upper School Principal at Hope Academy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own lava lamp. For this you're going to need some vegetable oil, some water, a glass bottle, food coloring, Alka-Seltzer, and if you wanted to do it so that it glows, you can use some glow sticks or a flashlight. First fill your glass bottle two-thirds to three-fourths full of vegetable oil. When you add the water, do you think it's going to sink to the bottom or rise to the top? Fill the rest of the container with water. You'll see that it's more dense so it sinks to the bottom. Now add 10 to 15 drops of food coloring. You'll also see that this sinks below the oil because it's more dense. Now break the Alka-Seltzer tablet in half and add it to the container. As you can see, water and oil molecules do not bond. Water and food coloring are more dense than oil, so they sink to the bottom. When you put Alka-Seltzer tablets into the bottle, they react with the water and create carbon dioxide gas. The colored water blobs attach themselves to the CO2 bubbles, rising to the top. When the bubbles pop, the gas escapes and the dense water returns to the bottom to start the cycle all over again. You can also try it in the dark by using glow sticks. Each half tablet provides enough bubbles for about 30 seconds. Or an even better effect is using a flashlight. Each time you try it, just add another half tablet of Alka-Seltzer. It's quarantine with Piggle. For today's dad jokes, I wanted to go on a diet, but I feel like I have way too much on my plate right now. <laughs> Mr. Devereaux teaches our ninth grade women humane letters. He said that they got a kick out of this joke. So why do teenage girls only walk in groups of three or five? Because they can't even. How, how can I do it better? They can't even. Because they can't even. They can't even. Because they can't even. How is it? They can't even. Because they can't even. I can't do it. <laughs> how do I sound like? Tell me to sound like a teenage girl. I can't even think about doing something like that. I can't even. So why do teenage girls only walk in groups of three or five? Because they can't even. <laughs> what is, what's the best way to prevent fish from smelling? Plug their nose. <laughs> and why did the boy stick a hose in his friend's ear? He wanted to brainwash him. <laughs> Yesterday's riddle was, a man who was outside in the rain without an umbrella or a hat didn't get a single hair on his head wet. Why? Because he was bald. Today's riddle is, what do islands and the letter T have in common? Today's senior advice is from Angie Torres. Hope seniors, they're all really nice. Hope seniors, gonna give you advice. Hope seniors, what they say should suffice. Hope seniors, seniors. This is what Angie says. Every year we hear the same words and phrases from the seniors, but what they say is true. You won't know what we're talking about until you reach the end of your senior year and see all the beautiful blessings all of your teachers and staff are here at Hope. You'll see how much they care for you, how much they pray for you to succeed, and most importantly, to have a relationship with God. But like I said, I know most of you won't see what we see because you aren't there yet. But I encourage you to always be respectful toward the teachers and respect the decisions they make. Obviously, they aren't perfect, but they still deserve the respect, and that is one thing that I didn't show all the time, and I regret disrespecting them, because at the end of the day, they care for you, and they want the best for you. I also encourage you to get along with your classmates. Your school year will go by smoothly when everyone in your class respects each other and doesn't look to or create drama. My class has been a real blessing to me. They are there for me whenever I need them, and we all created beautiful memories together. Obviously, there will be ups and downs with different classmates, but I'm thankful for how my class has been towards each other, especially this year. I am so grateful for my classmates and wouldn't trade them for any other class. Thank you, Angie. Have a great day, everyone.